In this video, I will be referring to FreeBSD, but I may as well be talking about GhostBSD, NomadBSD or FuryBSD. So, all the points raised here can and do apply to these FreeBSD derived OSs as well. The chances are that if you have been using FreeBSD in any capacity for a while, you will have a blog, an online diary, a news group, or indeed a YouTube channel <coughs> you read or watch on a regular basis. If you come across a piece of information or an idea that sparks your interest in doing something with FreeBSD, then please share it. Share it across all the social networks that you're part of. Doing this will enable the blog, the YouTube channel, etc. to grow and in turn will prompt the author and creator to produce more FreeBSD content. This option is the easiest and most effective means of building a FreeBSD community and perhaps takes the least effort. If it's a piece of software, in particular large pieces of software such as an operating system, the chances are there will be bugs or errors somewhere in the code that will manifest as crashes or produce something that wasn't intended. FreeBSD is a very polished OS, but there will be some times when something doesn't work as it should or perhaps doesn't work at all. It could be a piece of software from the ports or package tree. Whichever it is, the developers may not be aware of it. It may be down to the end user to help out and report the nature of the problem. Luckily, FreeBSD provides a great way to report bugs. So even if you can't code, you can still help out by sending a bug report. One of the ways to limit or at least reduce the amount of bugs in a piece of software or OS and therefore lower the number of bugs upon release is to become a tester, an alpha, beta, release candidate, it doesn't matter. But it takes people and therefore many different eyes looking at the software for any problems to be spotted and fixed before eventual release. If you are prepared to live on the edge, then give FreeBSD 13 a try. You never know, it may be stable or it may crash. But either way, help out the developers and let them know what's going on. FreeBSD is an operating system that has a very active community around it. Not so much on YouTube, where my channel is one of the biggest and oldest FreeBSD dedicated ones there. If you subscribe and leave some comments, you are contributing to the FreeBSD community. Joining the official FreeBSD forums will allow you to interact with some of the cleverest people in the FreeBSD community and is an excellent place to seek help to any problems. Or if you feel you have some points or advice to give, you can. The sense of having helped someone with FreeBSD is a great feeling and possibly helped convert someone over to our side. You could also jump on Twitter, which is a great place to meet and chat with some of the top people involved in FreeBSD, both developers and the people behind the FreeBSD Foundation. And if you create something FreeBSD related, it's a great way to advertise your creation, be it code or a video, etc. The great thing about joining a forum or contributing to a conversation about FreeBSD is that it gets your name noticed. And if you help others then, who knows, maybe you will become a go-to when it comes to problem solving. A lot of free and open source software rely on donations and FreeBSD is no different. The FreeBSD project is managed by the FreeBSD Foundation, which is a 501c3 US-based non-profit organization dedicated to supporting and promoting the FreeBSD project and community worldwide. Funding comes from individual and corporate donations and is used to fund and manage projects, fund conferences and developer summits and provide travel grants to FreeBSD developers. More information about what they do can be found on the FreeBSD Foundation website, but all of the things that they do are financed directly by donations. So in the case of FreeBSD, all donations are used to keep FreeBSD up and running. If you can donate, and yes, I do, 
I donate to FreeBSD and GhostBSD, you can know that you are perhaps providing help in the most important of ways. The OS may be free, but the infrastructure around it isn't, unfortunately. Another way to help FreeBSD is to show it in action. Use it on real hardware, and people may just see it and ask, is that Linux? You could then say, no, it's FreeBSD, and then introduce it to them. You could do an install and show how easy it is these days. As easy or easier than some other OSs. Do it in the virtual box if you must. But I think, and I think this is the most important part, do it with the host being FreeBSD as well. Complete with a fancy desktop if you must. I think credibility points are lost if they see that although you are advocating FreeBSD, it isn't good enough to be actually used on a daily basis by you. Just for the record, I use FreeBSD 100% of the time. All of my computers, servers, workstations and laptops all use FreeBSD. It's time to let the world know that there are more than just three OSs out there.